Okay, welcome back, Melissa and Hunter here. Welcome to Morgan's Off the Leash. If you're new here, you will see uh, myself, Melissa, and, uh, our oldest son, Hunter. Hunter happens to have autism and is nonverbal, so you might see him do some hand gestures, act shy like that, or um, just some sounds. All right, a quote I read this week that uh, is really stuck in my mind that I wanna share with all of you is this. We change our behavior when the pain of staying the same becomes greater than the pain of changing. It's true. Okay, we're out on the sidewalk. We're gonna be going out there on the trails shortly to take the dogs for Three a golden retrievers. Ruger is our oldest. Seven, he's the silent leader. Piper is the only female golden retriever we've ever had. She's five and Archie is the new addition. He's our seven month old golden retriever. has been um, trying hard to be the leader on the pack. Mm -hmm. A little miscommunication. Mm -hmm. We're going out the trails. Mm -hmm. We're not going to lunch right now. Mm -hmm. out walking the trails for about 15 minutes. Mm. Hunters quit yelling. <laughs> We're back at the house. All right, I do want to take a couple minutes to thank all of you that have reached out to us and sent us messages and comments. You've been so kind. Hunter and I really appreciate it. Uh, we've had a busy week and kind of a challenging week, yeah. So one day was um, Ty Day. Our grandson Ty spent the night. And Ty is just over, a little over a one-year-old. Uh, Hunter loves mm. his nephew Ty. And we played in the leaves and took some walks. So I'm gonna stick some of that video in right now. Tuesday it rained so we didn't get outdoors too much on Tuesday. Wednesday and Thursday was all over the place. Someone was super grouchy on Wednesday. Right Hunter? And Thursday he was up and down. We um, attempted to start doing some videos and it just didn't work out. So here we are Friday. He's in a happy happy mood. He's ready and uh, okay. Melissa and Hunter out here. Uh, Hunter's not one for doing crafts too often, but he does like anything that you can scrunch, rip, <laughs> crinkle, or even uh, the terry. So we're going to work on this. We'll show you what we do. You'll see when we're finished. <laughs> you want to go the same turkey? We used a brown paper bag, a larger size small paper bags that are like little lunch bag bags mm. have um, pine cones that um, you can get. I got after Christmas last year. There's some scent to them, but like I said, they're a year old. They've been in the attic, so there's not that much left, but it's some weight to it. Plastic mm. packing wrap. You're gonna need two white pieces of paper, <laughs> scissors, 
stapler, <laughs> or you can use a hot glue gun or glue gun. <laughs> two crinkled up, they happen to be Chick-fil-A bags. We're gonna use the two brown lunch bags. They're the smaller bag. And then the two crinkled up bags from Chick-fil-A. So take one, oops, Hunter already crinkled them up. And then stick it in the lunch bag, crinkle it up some more, good. Stuff that in there, grab the other one. See the fun of crinkling up paper? Stuff it in there. Okay, we're gonna set those off to the side. You'll take your larger brown paper bag, and then you can put, they suggest popping or buying a large canister or bag full of popcorn and sticking all the popcorn inside. But we're not gonna do that because our dogs like popcorn. And I bought this after Christmas last year. I think it was like $1.50 at TJ Maxx. And um, we're gonna take it, stick it in. You could actually use pine cones. So you take your turkey, this is gonna be your main body of the turkey. And I'm gonna turn it upside down. Take the ends and they're gonna get folded, okay? Now, Hunter, you wanna take a stapler and then, okay, can you hit that? Perfect. Okay. Staple again right here. Good. Okay, see the one side is folded down. Take the other side of the paper bag. <laughs> He's so excited. And take your stapler. Okay, now hit it. Good. Let me get my fingers out of the way. Good. Okay. So here is the main body of the turkey. I'm gonna take your turkey and just kind of smush up the end. So like the pointy ends of the paper bag. You kind of push them in. Make it more rounded. See, isn't that the perfect turkey ball? Take your two white pieces of paper. We just happen to use a white bag. And you're gonna want to um, cut a bunch of strips like this. White strips, this one got cut too far. They're gonna look like this. And you can set those aside. The two lunch bags that Hunter, he crinkled up the Chick-fil-A, the white Chick-fil-A bags. So what you could do is take a, you know how you know, um, burger thing or Chick-fil-A bag. You could crinkle up a couple lunch bags and stick in there. Okay. Hunter has his iPod and headphones, but take your lunch bag that has the crinkled up bags inside and you're gonna just crinkle, you pop the whole thing. Just crinkle up the neck like this. No, like this. And then scrunch up the back. Yeah. No. Okay. So you want it like that. That's good. Okay, so the two lunch bags that are gonna be the turkey legs should look like this. So take the necks of them, the top of the bag, crinkle them, and then just these points on each bag, you wanna poke them in. Or you could hand them to someone like Hunter and they'll just smoke them. And there, they look like that. You, help, you hold up your white piece of paper and cut a bunch of strips in them so they look like that. This one got cut too deep. Take it. Oops. Okay. So you're going to take it with the cut fan strips facing out mm. and roll it up like this. I'm gonna use a piece of packing tape. Um, you can use a glue stick. I'm not sure the stapler will work, but. The uh, pastry pantaloons on the leg of the turkey. Put that aside. There's one more. Help me. So, 
tape it down and tape it onto the bag. Brown paper bag. Like that. And then you can just fan out your little pastry pantaloons on your turkey legs. Okay. okay. So you take the body of your turkey, bring it back out. And then you grab your turkey legs. Each one. And they're going to go on. Almost finished. This is a very fast trap. So if you're somebody that's a mover and taker like Hunter, you might want to try it because it's not too crafty and he's able to scrunch and fold and help. And um, boom, before you know it, it's done. So I took the turkey leg and I take a piece strip of packing tape just like this. Ready, Hunter? I move to the other side. Okay. And you stick it. I'm using tape. You can glue it or use a hot glue gun. So I just folded the pack of tape. I stuck it on the drumstick like that. You want to stick it on the side of the turkey? Yeah, so. You stick it on the side. Okay. And um, our turkey is stuffed with pine cones that have a scent to them, which is going to be kind of nice. They're all right, now we use this. Do you know what this is from? Hunter does. Come here. This is the bottom base to, um, from a case of diet coat. Huh. You wanna sit down right here? Okay, so you can use a cardboard box or you could use a real pan, a foil pan, or even you could use a wood charger. We were gonna use one of dad's wood slices that he has. Um, but it just was, it was more this size. We wanted something a little bigger. So we have the cardboard base to a case of Diet Coke from the kind you get at Costco. You want to put the turkey in your tray? Yeah. So you can just set it down in there. We have a paper bag turkey stuffed with pine cones and two drumsticks with the um, pastry pantaloons that we put on the turkey legs. And we might add a couple more little fake food as our decoration. And we're gonna keep this on our table at a nice centerpiece before Thanksgiving. You wanna hold it, Hunter? Okay, so we're finished. What do you think? Pretty exciting. Look at that turkey. You can stuff it full, like I said, you can stuff it full of popcorn or paper bags or newspaper. Um, I wouldn't suggest leaves just because you don't know what's in them and it might end up in your house. And we didn't do popcorn because the dogs like popcorn and might, or I like popcorn. But yeah, so this is our turkey centerpiece. Turned out pretty good, huh? It's. And if Hunter and I can do it, you can do it. I suggest doing it with your kids, grandkids, and even um, grandparents, you know? Think of our grandparents if uh, they're living in an assisted living or uh, retirement homes, all those places, or maybe they just are living their own home and, and they'd like to do a craft with you. I think it's pretty cool to have a turkey as a centerpiece before Thanksgiving, so it gets us in the mood. All right, turns out we didn't need we brought out some bubble, pop bubble. Hunter used to love the pop when he was younger. This is just like the packing bubble tape, uh, plastic wrap. Turns out we don't need that. Well, Melissa and Hunter here, we want to thank everyone that tunes in to Morgan's Off the Leash and watches our videos of the dogs, grandson Ty, Hunter, uh, daughter Hannah, daughter Eva, and sometimes we have special guest Mike Morgan on our channel. But we would like to thank you so much for watching, uh, clicking the like, subscribing, and uh, sharing these with your friends, and of course, commenting down below. We love the support, and we hope you're excited to make a brown paper bag turkey centerpiece for your table. Okay, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks. Do you want to wave bye? Come over here and wave bye so they can see you. <laughs>
You could slip car keys in, maybe money. Um, I'm not sure if my cell phone fits in there or not. It's on the tripod right now, I'm going to video. And um, yeah, so my camo pants, I love, are from Marriott. And my Ariat hiking, walking the trail boots. This is all Ariat, I love it. Hi. He just stuck a spaghetti spoon in my ear. <laughs> doesn't like you to scream. I want to show you our lettuce. So we took the end of the lettuce, and I might not be able to pull it out here, stuck it in this little glass with water, and look, so it's starting to grow more lettuce, but it should um, be growing roots here. In fact, there's a little bit right there of the roots. We'll see how that does. <laughs> 